Hey guys! Welcome back to another video here on Tiffin Case. This is my very first solo video that I'm filming in this new space that we finally got around to fixing, which is our spare office. It's always kind of been like the storage room. Or it's like, oh, one day I'll get to it. But finally, it's like, no, we gotta do it. You guys have been asking for videos from me, especially my daily makeup routine from me for the longest time ever. So what is my daily makeup routine like? Just, I, don't, I gotta let you guys know right now. Don't have high expectations. <laughs> I do very little on my makeup. It's just, I keep it really simple. I try to go for more of the natural look, but I will show you what I do with my daily makeup. I don't use a lot of crazy brands, just drugstore stuff, keep it simple. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, I usually use this CC cream by Herborian. Herborian, it's a Korean brand. Uh, they say this is a high definition radiance Face cream. So I get invited to a lot of beauty events and when I go to these beauty events I'll have these goodie bags with a lot of products in them for like influencers to try out and stuff and this was one of the items that I received and I love this product so much. Like, I'm not really sure with the whole CC cream and the BB cream and the I don't know what else creams but I just know that this is what I use to start off my face and I know you're supposed to be like moisturizing and stuff but I'm just trying to tell you guys this is what I do on the daily and I know I'm probably doing a lot of things wrong but this is just the way I do it and I wanted to show you guys since you guys have been asking me like what do you what do you do every single day so anyways <laughs> to start off I will usually put this on and I'll just put like little dots across like all over my face so I'll start off like this and then I'll just go down the center and then I'll make a little circle around around my cheeks and then just put some on my forehead and then I just rub it in with my fingers. I really don't have a lot of fancy tools. I don't do any crazy brushes. I literally just use like four brushes. But yeah, like I'll just blend it all in into my face, around my lips and then I'll bring it down to my neck at least a little bit and I'll put it around my eyes. So usually I try to cover my dark circles, that's like the number one thing that bugs me about my face and that I try to use makeup for. And I've been recommended a ton of concealers and like a whole bunch of things to try. Like, And I'm really bad about being consistent, so I'm pretty sure like the things I've tried in the past, they might have worked, but I'm just not very consistent with it, so... I still have dark circles. And I noticed I started having dark circles in the third grade because my best friend pointed it out. She was like, did you get in a fight? And I'm like, no, what do you mean? She's like, cause your, your eyes, it looks like you have two black eyes. And I looked in the mirror, I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, yeah, look, it's like purple on the bottom. I'm like, oh, what is that? And then since, since then, like, that just sparked it like in my mind I'm like forever self-conscious of my dark circles I would never step foot outside the house or ever show my face without at least putting concealer on like I've always been like super self-conscious like I grew up with so many insecurities guys like it's insane but and I still have so many but now I'm, I'm getting close I'm getting better about not being super insecure and just accepting myself because that's what we gotta do, right? We just gotta be happy with what we got. So like, for example, with my ears, I've always been super self-conscious of my ears because same thing, I would think I was 11 and I was leaving out of school. I think I was like in the sixth grade or seventh grade and I was walking in the field after school and some kid just runs past me and he's like, haha, you have big ears. They stick out and he just left and he just ran away. And ever since then, I was like, oh, I have Dumbo ears, they're so huge. And I used to cover them up and I would swear, like I would rather be naked than show my ears. Like that's how insecure I was about my ears. And then like years went by and then I told JK about my insecurities and like Bart and Joe, they'd be like, you're crazy. And Gio, she, they'd just be like, oh, you have normal ears. Like, yeah, sure, they stick out maybe a little bit, but you can't even tell unless you point it out. And so then by them telling me and like me just being like, yeah, why do I care so much about my ears? Like who cares? And so now I just wear them out and I don't even care anymore. Slowly I'm doing that with my dark circles. Cause even in Hawaii, like whenever we'll go, sometimes I'll be like, oh, they're too dark. And I'll put like some waterproof concealer and then I'll go swimming because I'm just like I'm too insecure but I'm slowly trying to let that go so like for example I started this whole process with bare face like I I don't usually show my bare face that much but anyways moving on first is a CC cream and then I'll move on to my favorite favorite thing ever like this concealer is amazing because like I said I've tried so many concealers and I've never found any that I really love like this one so this is the Maybelline instant age rewind so I use a medium and so what I do I'll just like twist it 
and then I'll just dab it on the bottom and then I know I've, I've seen a lot of like suggestions for putting on concealer you should do like a triangle type of thing so I kind of try to apply it sort of like a triangle not really and then I'll just do like a couple dabs on the upper lid because my upper lids it's also dark and like somehow like red a bit and I'll just dab it with my finger I don't use any other brushes I've tried like the beauty blender before and I just didn't like how you have to wet it and then I'm just like that's not very portable and I don't know if they've come up with different solutions but I just wasn't a fan of the beauty blender and I also have brushes that I've tried to apply my concealer and I don't like how you can see the brush strokes and like I said I'm pretty sure I'm doing things wrong but I've just found that this is the way that I just like to do it and it's just quick and simple so I'll just use my ring finger and I'll just use it to dab all my concealer just try to blend it all in and I'll get the corners and I'll, I'll make sure to blend my concealer a lot near the lash line I remember reading some comments mentioning that I have like really smooth eyelids which I think it's something funny to observe but I think it's because of my concealer maybe I don't know I really don't do much but yeah I'll just blend it in and then sometimes I'll grab some of my concealer and I'll bring it up top on like the bridge of my nose and then on the side my, of my nostrils I'll try to put some concealer in there. I'll do all this and I try to really, really make sure it's like nice and blended because it's happened to me before like when I first started learning how to use makeup. I think I was like 14, 15 and I would not be good about blending my concealer and then I'll take pictures and it's just like white patches. <laughs> so I'm like, oh no, I gotta be able to like blend it a little bit better. But yeah, I started learning how to put on makeup thanks to my sister Suelen. She's, she lives in Mexico. She's my half sister. She taught me everything I know about makeup which is everything I still know about makeup because I never really studied anymore or like really tried to learn like all the new techniques and the new gadgets and the new stuff I'm just like I don't know I just I stick to what I know which is knowledge from 10 years ago so this is just what I do this is it and then I'll tend to like really blend right here on the corner on my upper eyelid because the actual concealer would start like caking into the creases and so I'll just try to blend it a bit and then once I finish blending in my concealer I use this sheer translucent type of powder to like set my concealer because like around my eyes the skin around my eyes is super super elastic like it's not really firm and so because of that I have a lot of wrinkles and those wrinkles tend to like cake in the makeup so I, I've been using this recently and I really like it because it's it like mattifies so I'll just grab a little bit with this brush and then I'll just kind of like dab it on top I don't really blend it or anything, I just kind of dab it and then I'll, I'll put it like on the lid and then I'll just get a little bit more and then tap it the excess off and I'll just do that to both. I'll do it to the bottom and to the upper lid. Sorry if I'm like crouching and weird, I put the mirror under the camera so <laughs> hopefully this this is this is turning out okay. But yeah, so after I, I finish dabbing this translucent powder thing then I move on to my full face powder coverage thing. I told you guys I know nothing of makeup. It's just this is what I use to set everything else in. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day in 850 medium to deep. So this is like a matte finishing powder. I really like using CoverGirl. I used to buy a lot of like the, the name brand like super expensive high-end makeup brand but I, I always felt like it's not that big of a difference from the drugstore so I'm like why am I spending so much money when I can just try out different makeup stuff too because then also when you go with the high-end stuff it's kind of hard unless you actually go into like Sephora or Ulta or something and then you actually try on the makeup but it's really hard to like really experiment because they're so expensive and then sometimes I find myself buying a really expensive product and then I think I like it in the store and then I'll take it home and then I try using it on the daily and I'm like oh, I actually don't like it and then I just spend a whole bunch of money for no reason so I'd rather just take the risk with drugstore makeup because at least it's way cheaper and if I don't like it it's like oh well it's like just 10 bucks but yeah so then I'll start putting this on all over on my forehead over my eyes I actually use this as well to like set in the rest of my concealer and the translucent powder and I'll put some on my neck to just really even out everything make sure my neck matches my face and honestly guys I'm telling you I put very little on like I try not to do that much if I don't like how it looks in the mirror and if it looks cakey in the mirror like I'm taking makeup off I know a lot of these 
makeup trends is to like cake on the makeup and it looks really good on camera but then when you actually see them in person it's like ew, you can see like all the lines of the makeup and I'm like I don't like that so I need to make sure that I like my makeup how it looks in the mirror not just how it looks on camera so that's why I just do very little like I don't contour I don't highlight I don't do anything <laughs> like I just keep it really basic so the next I do my blush but I actually use a bronzer. It's so broken and old that I actually use a rubber band to like keep it closed. So yeah, I'll leave it like this. This thing is so old it I don't even know who makes this, honestly. I think it's Phys Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Bronzer Blush Eyeshadow. I think this is called Waikiki Strip. I don't know, it's really like faded. It's really old. But anyways, so I'll do this. I'll have the lid out and then I'll just kind of dab it and then take some off, tap it off and then I'll smile and then just put it on the balls of my cheeks and then I also bring my bronzer up so I'll put it like right here on my temple so I'll just kind of like blend it in there just really lightly I try not to go ham with this and I'll just go up and this is something that my sister taught me she was like always put your blush like starting from the ball or like near like not exactly on the ball of your cheek but maybe like a little bit further back and then bring it up to your temple I don't know why but I've been doing it this long and I like how it looks so I've just been sticking to it so I don't know I really don't know any other new techniques and then sometimes if I put a little too much and I feel like oh I went a little too far then I'll just go back to my foundation brush and I'll just put some down here remove some of the excess make it look a little lighter not so crazy and then I'll take it off with my hand so then next time I put on foundation I don't have like a bronzy face finish with that wrap my bronzer back up with my rubber band I gotta buy a new one I know next I move on to my eyebrows and then same with this thing it's really old this is a NYX eyebrow cake powder thing it's brunette I don't know. So my eyebrows are really funky. I have a cowlick right here on my left eyebrow, like in the center. This is where I tend to put, put most of my eyebrow, what is this? Powder? Yeah, eyebrow powder. And that's cause like right here with this cowlick thing, it tends to grow a lot lighter. So then if I don't put anything, it, it looks like I don't have eyebrow here. So I have to fill it in here. I bought this specific thing cause it has like eyebrow gel. And so I thought it would like keep my eyebrows in place. So I have the cowlick problem with my left eyebrow but then with my right eyebrow, right near where it arches, it always tends to go down like this. So then I bought this eyebrow gel hoping it would work but it just ended up being like Vaseline and it just like makes my hairs like stick together but it still drop. So it doesn't, it didn't really work for me. So I don't even use it anymore. Throughout the day I'm constantly like pushing my hair back up cause it always falls. I don't know why. Maybe you guys have a different solution, but I did not like this eyebrow gel thing that NYX has Maybe there's another product out there. You guys can help a girl out And I'll go in with this like angled kind of brush, which I taped Because <laughs> I like this brush and I didn't want to buy a new one So I just taped it because this top kept falling out. I'm telling you guys my makeup is so old I gotta buy new stuff, but it works. It's fine. So anyways, so then I'll, I'll start filling it in and I'll, Again, I'll go really lightly. I don't try going crazy with my eyebrows either. I'll fill in the top here because that tends to look really light and it looks like I have really thin eyebrows and then I'll try using this brush to create an angle so I kind of like it when it looks a little bit like pointy in the arch but then here I tend to like really try to fill this in because it's like bald it's really weird and then these hairs too they go like straight up and then these hairs they they're they're tame. They know what to do. They know that they should go this way. But then the left hairs are like, nope, we're going straight up. So every time I go get my eyebrows done, I always have to tell the lady like, because sometimes I'll get them waxed, sometimes I'll get them threaded. But I tell her to be careful with the left eyebrow because especially right here in the center, it's deceiving. But usually they do a really good job. But yeah, I'll go into the, the right eyebrow next. I always start with the left one because of that bald spot. And then I'll go to the right and I'll try like brushing all my eyebrow hairs up. So at least in the meantime, it could stay up. But then as soon as I move my, cause I tend to be really expressive with my face and I'll move my eyebrows and I'll go like this <laughs> and then the, the hairs will just go back down. But I'll just, for now, I'll just try brushing it and then creating the point of my arch. So I like doing that and then I'll bring it down and I'll create like the little tail end of my eyebrows. So I'll kind of go like that. Same with this side, little tail end. And that's it. That's all I do with my eyebrows. And then I move on to eyeliner. Lately I've been kind of getting lazy and I just skip this eyeliner part and I'll just go on to do my eyelashes and call it a day. But now I'll just show you guys how I do my eyeliner. I'll get another mirror so I can get closer. And then, oh, so for the eyeliner, I use L'Oreal Linear Intense. 
this is black. So I, I've always, I've tried different liquid eyeliners and I've always find myself going back to L'Oreal because I really like how, I just like the brush. It's not too thin, it's not too thick and I like how it moves and I'm able to control it. So I really like the L'Oreal eyeliner. I'll start like in the center, I'll move my way out to the end and then I'll go back in to the inner corner and then I'll meet the center. And then sometimes I go too thin, so I gotta go over it again. And then sometimes like this eyeliner, I don't know if you ever experience it, when you're putting on your liquid eyeliner, for some reason the brush takes the makeup with you. And you're like, wait, no, I need to fill it in. <laughs> so then I'll just end up just dabbing like the edge, the edges of the brush, and then it'll give me more makeup, more pigmentation. So that's sometimes what I do, especially near the inner corner. That's when it tends to happen to me. So I'll do the same on this side. In high school, I used to always do the winged eyeliner and then for some reason just out of high school I kind of lost my touch and I can never do a wing liner ever again and I've tried like throughout these years I've actually tried to do it and I'm like I lost my touch I can't do it and I've even seen like hacks where people create like stamps I saw this one hack where this girl she cut the edge of a pink eraser into like a triangle and she used that for a stamp and it looked really good so I'm like oh I should try that I just haven't gone around to do it uh oh I think I made a gun way too big thick on this one did I do it too thick I think I did I gotta go over this other one to match it and then I, I try to bring the eyeliner to my corner because I tend to notice that I don't really get a lot of my corners so I'm really weird and I actually pluck out my eyelashes and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this but I do I pluck out my eyelashes if they're straight because I, I have naturally curly eyelashes and so if they're they, if they just end up growing straight then I just pluck it out I'm like I don't want to deal with you and I, I don't even own an eyelash curler so I just pluck them out and usually the top eyelashes on the outer corners, those are the ones that end up growing out straight. So I just end up just plucking them out. So if you look really closely in my outer corner of my eyes, it's kind of bald because I plucked those eyelashes out. I know I'm weird. I know I'm weird. <laughs> I've heard it my whole life because even when I was younger, I used to get ridiculed even more by my friends because I was so weird that my eyelashes they would grow so long that it would tickle my eyebrow, so I would trim them. And my friends, they one time, they saw me because I had my little trimming scissors, and I was just trimming them, and then they were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, it's because they tickle my eyebrow, so I, I always trim them. And they're like, what? You're crazy! Do you know how lucky you are? you know how many girls wish they had those eyelashes? And I'm like, I know, but... They bother me, sorry. Like I just feel so weird every time I talk about my eyelashes. A lot of people can't relate to me. But anyways, moving on to mascara. So when it comes to mascara, I experiment a lot. I like trying all different kinds of mascara. Every single time I buy a mascara, I tend to buy a different one. But lately, I've been using this one. This is the CoverGirl Total Tease. This has actually been one of my favorite mascaras recently because I really like the brush. It has bristles only on one side and then on the other side, only on the tip does it have bristles and not the rest of the brush. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I like this mascara brush. It's been really helpful in keeping my eyelashes like straight and in order because as soon as they start getting tangled up, I get so frustrated. I know I said I'm weird. I know that. <laughs> I know I'm weird. But yeah, so that's why I like this brush because it just like comes it really straight. So yeah, I'll start off with at the base. And I'll just do a little wiggle and then bring it up. I remember in high school, I had a friend that she saw me put on my mascara and she was so blown away based off of the fact that I don't need to open my mouth. Because I guess a lot of girls when they put mascara on, they go like this. And I never did that. I don't know. I just never learned to do that. And I feel like I, my eyes are just big enough already. I don't really need to open my mouth to make them even bigger. So I don't know. I, I guess that's... She, I remember her telling me like, girl, that's a talent. You could put your mascara on with your mouth closed. That's a talent. I'm like, okay, I guess I found a new talent. I don't know. I know she was kidding though. It's pretty funny. Imagine. Yeah, my talent is to put on mascara with my mouth closed. That's my talent. <laughs> That'll be funny. But yeah, so I'll just use the end that has all of the bristles. And then once I end up applying the mascara on my lashes, then I'll go back in with the other end that only has it at the tip, with the bristles at the tip. And then I'll go in there and I'll kind of just brush them to like straighten out a little bit more. I'll use that end as well, the one that only has the tip, the brush bristles on the tip for my bottom lashes. I'll just lightly put mascara on. I try not to go too crazy with the bottom lashes. I remember hearing a rule like you should never put mascara on your bottom lashes, but I don't know. I do it. 
I don't even know if that rule is still relevant because I haven't been keeping up with makeup trends or anything like that. But it's all stuff that I learned from my sister 10 years ago. So I know I'm out of date. All right, so we're done with mascara. So this is something that I used to do. I haven't been doing it that often anymore, but I'll just do it for this video because I just want to show you guys how I did it. But I would grab this brush and then I have this like highlighting powder in this bag that I've had for a long time. I don't know, does highlighter powder expire? Maybe I should get rid of this. This powder, it broke. So I put it in this little baggie and I'll just get this brush and I'll just scrape the edge of the bag. I'll just get a little bit of the highlighting powder, just like tap some off. And then I'll go into my inner corners and I'll put some in there. And then I'll also put it on the arches of my brows. So I'll put some like right where it starts to curve, just to make it stand out a little bit. But yeah, I haven't done this in a while. I kind of got lazy. And then I'll put a little bit on the outer corner. All I'll do. Once I finish with all that, I go into putting some eyeliner on my waterline. So this is the Maybelline Master Kajal. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is Midnight Brown. And I really like these like fat eyeliner pencils because it's not super pigmented where it's like, oh, you have to be careful how you put it. You could just kind of like smudge it on and it'll kind of like smudge. And then for this, I don't like it when it's too clean. So usually what I do is like I'll put some on and then I'll wait a few minutes, like go do something else and then I'll come back and I'll put some more and then I'll give it like that shadowy effect, like the smoky eye kind of thing. And then I'll put it on the top like so. Yeah, my eyes are not sensitive to things touching it, like my eyeballs. Cause I, I wore contacts since I was 11 and like I was really dirty with my contacts too. So I'll just like go in there, grab it, take it out and then just put on another one. And so like my eyes are really used to things touching it, <laughs> like makeup and contacts and stuff. So whenever I put my eyeliner on, I don't have to do this and like go like that. I could just put it on directly. So then once I finish the top one, then I'll go into the corners. Like I said, I'm bald on the outer corners of my eyes. So I'll just go in there and I'll just kind of like fill it in a bit so I don't look too weird. Then I finish it off with, I put some just regular old chapstick. I'll put chapstick on my lips. This one though, I bought this one in France. And it's so good. Like I really like this brand. I should look for it here because I want to buy a new one of these. I already ran out of my chapstick. It's like almost all gone. But this is the Avene brand and this actual chapstick thingy, it's called cold cream. So I don't know, I've been using it, I love it. I'm running out, I need to buy a new one. But I'll put this on first before my lipstick, just to make sure like my lips are moisturized. At least I'm good about my lips, about moisturizing. I'm bad about my face moisturizing, but <laughs> at least my lips are moisturized. Honestly, I've been trying to look for a moisturizer to put on before I do my makeup, but then every time I try looking into it, I'm like, oh, there's so many options. Like I get so overwhelmed. So I'm like, I'm good with my CC cream. Like I'm just gonna stick to that. But anyway, so then I'll put this lipstick and this is like the lipstick that I wear like almost all the time now. And this is by Revlon and it's the Sassy Mauve 460. The number of the lipstick and I love this color. I love like it's not too loud, but it's not too subtle Like it's pretty good. So I really like it. I'll just put that on I'm done. And that's it. And I don't put eyeshadow. I really rarely put on eyeshadow It's like usually if I go to an event or something then maybe I'll put eyeshadow on but this is generally all I do And then I set it all with this Vial Supreme Glow Mist and it's like this really cool like setting spray that gives you a facial glow And I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that I just look like I'm glowing Thank you for that But I would like to give credit to this spray and the fact that I'm a very happy newlywed You know the newlywed glow. I think I have, maybe. I don't know, but this spray, it does wonders. It smells really good, So I and I'm running out. I actually need more. This product was one of those products that I mentioned earlier that I get when I go to the events, like beauty events. I went to a Vial beauty event. I was even live streaming there, so if you guys saw me live streaming and I was in this like huge mansion thing, they had this really cool party, and it was the launch party for this brand. But I need to hit them up. I need to get a new one, because I love this mist. It's so cool. So I set my whole makeup with this. I'll just like spray it on a few times and then I'll just let it dry on my face. And since I'm running out of this, I only use it when I film now. So I'll set my face whenever I'm filming. And that's it. That's that's how I do my daily makeup every single day. This is my routine and it's super simple. I don't 
use anything expensive, crazy, or I guess this would be pretty expensive. I think this is pricey. Other than that, I don't like spending money on makeup. I am really cheap when it comes to makeup and clothes. I just try to find the cheapest thing. But yeah, I mean, if you guys see any part in my routine where you're like, oh, she could probably benefit from this tip, then please let me know. I'll be reading your comments and I'll be trying to do more of these beauty videos that I promised you guys. Like a year ago or maybe longer. <laughs> I think I promised you guys a long time ago, but I'll be trying to do my best to do more of these videos. Maybe show you guys some of my outfits because I know a lot of you guys have been asking for videos of like, what do you wear? Maybe you guys have some other video ideas. You can let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to work on them and make them for you so you can get a little insight into my brain. This is what my brain thinks, but let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.